Now that we have finished the scanning process, let us move on to transferring the data. I want to present here the three main options and also want to provide a detailed description of the most practical way from our point of view. Well, you know, there's this option to download the data using the BLK Data Manager. That's a free tool that Leica provides. Then you have the option to process the data using either the Leica Software Register 360 Plus or the Pinpoint Software, which serves as an alternative and functions as the Pinpoint Registration Tool for data processing purposes. Let's just get started. How do we connect the scanner? So we take the scanner out here accordingly. We're inserting the battery, not required. You can also do it without a battery. With a charged battery, data transfer is slightly faster. So we recommend this option. It's called silent mode. It is simply necessary or it simply makes sense to perform the task in that manner due to the presence of a high transmission speed at that location. You can speed things up by putting in the battery and powering up the scanner. So I'll go with option one, insert the battery. It's fully charged and it will stay that way. So it won't discharge while we're doing the data transfer here. When inserting, it is crucial not to press the power button, so to speak, insert it cleanly. And then when the battery is locked, simply place it down, take the USB cable, connect it via USB cable to a USB-C Thunderbolt connector ensuring a secure and stable connection for optimal performance and data transfer speeds. That must be a modern interface, so it cannot be some old USB-C from whatever, like the ones used in the 1800s and earlier. So, you know, I like to have fun, but from the thing itself, if you're having connection problems there, in 90% of cases, you've also heard, my computer just beeped, so it's already recognized the scanner. The scanner itself powers up, you wait until it's permanently green, and then it should be connected to the Windows computer accordingly. Does not work with Mac, does not work with Parallels either, so it might work, but it might not, and we do not support it either. The maker states Windows, and that's the limit. Okay, let's commence. What are we going to do? Initially, we download the data using the complementary tool. The data manager is an excellent tool. We love using it, or I personally enjoy it. You just have to keep in mind that you'll need register 360 plus software afterwards to import the data, because the data is copied in Leica format. So I've got this folder here called projects. I have three subfolders there. I'll crack open the first one. That's the data manager. Clearly nothing in there yet. And now I'm going to begin the data manager. Then go here to BLK360, not the one in front here. That's the first generation. We want the current version. So here you can already see that the USB connection is established. So let's just go with that. And then we select a job here. So you see up front, multiple scans are selected and that's always job specific. To download a single scan, click on it here at the back. So let's assume the job. And then I simply click on download here, choose my data manager folder. All right, and then the download process begins. What's happening now? The scans are being downloaded, but the overview map with the links is also being downloaded. So the great thing is when you work with the field app, you can actually register things on site, which is our absolute recommendation. So you're going to get the fully registered project copied over here now. It's a great thing thanks to the FIS system. So this video pre-stationing system that's installed, it actually works pretty well. All right, what else is there to say about it? Yeah, like I said, that's a Leica format. And as you can see, a folder has already been created in this location. We can have a glimpse inside and then we will observe. The initial scan is already present with a size of 200 megabytes. The second is still broadcasting. I'll wait a sec, it'll be done in a jiffy. Now we're done, can do, okay. We could also delete the data here now. We don't want that in this case. Yeah, that's just the essential part. And maybe here's a little tip. There's data scan it, BLK scan settings, which means you can change the settings here to operate the scanner with the resolution you want if you press the button on the front. So you can trigger your scanner by pressing here. All right, let's conclude this, uh, take another glance here. So we currently have two kilobytes here, the job file, and then we have scan one, scan two, so the data transfer is complete. Okay, let's proceed to the next one. We should utilize the register plus tool. We need to access our Leica software in order to carry out this task effectively and efficiently. Keep in mind that you need to set the storage folder beforehand. The registry software always creates a cryptic folder. That means I go beforehand, before I start the download, here into my project directory, so into my database or into my hard drive. Then choose the directory where I want to save the whole thing. In that case, it was like on the desktop, then projects, and then here, 
Registration 2, nonsense. Register 360 plus. Please instruct me to choose a folder, which of course already exists. In that particular case, I have already made the selection. So like it is crucial to create this folder and you can see here the project folder is also active and currently in use. This one back here is active, so it can either be called storage 12345 or I renamed it here, so I just went in here and named it. And then you have to select this name here again so that it becomes the default storage folder for the new registry project. Wow, it's tricky. Comment your thoughts. We think it's a bit old school. Share your opinion in the comments below. Maybe the hint can help too. And of course, we need a little support from you guys at Leica as well. So honestly, you download a project and then you actually get a dialogue. Where can I get it? And then you put it on. Sadly, that's just how it is here. I can't sugarcoat it, I'm afraid. That's how it is at the moment. We're keeping our fingers crossed for the next update. Alrighty then, cut. Now let's get going. We're closing the conversation. You don't need to save anything there. That happens automatically. Start a new project. Commence a brand new project. We are additionally designated as a project. The term project is also used to refer to it. Then of course the project opens up. Here you go, take a look at it. I'll quickly open the folder in parallel. We are register plus now. So a new project has been created now. If we take a look at the characteristics, then that's 440 kilobytes. That's just the cryptic file, as I said. It means they generate a cryptic file for each project. I recommend always creating a new folder and putting the cryptic file in there. You can search for the folder and find the cryptic file. If you don't do that, at some point you'll have a folder with cryptic files. And sometimes it's hard to find the right project again. All right, let's get back to our software. We are returning to the data manager at this point. Then we obtain the typical dialog, click on connect. Our project is shown and we are going to include job two to the project at this location. Default settings are fine. No need to do much. I'd remove this. I'd also remove that. No further action is necessary. I'll start the automatic registration after I've checked it. Please check out the next tutorial. And then I proceed to import. And then the process starts running. While he is currently running, two words are being spoken at the same time. If you've downloaded the data using the data manager, then you can import it in the same way. I am going to go back in here real quick. If I go up one directory now, I could simply take these jobs here and drag and drop them in here, and then it would import the data, thereby completing the task efficiently and effectively. Just so you know in advance, so you can see the context, and now we're going back to our registry project here. Let's see how far he's gotten. He's batting two for two. That's been taken care of as well. All right, at this point, we have our scans here. I'm not even going to get into that topic. I will simply wrap this up very quickly. At this moment, we possess our project right here with us. Let's take another look. There you go. Now there is also data inside it. So everything is good. It worked perfectly. So, and now we come to the final option. That would be the registration tool. So I'm going to give a pinpoint and not the modeler, so not the modeling, but the registration. Furthermore, if scanned utilizing the feed app, then the data naturally comes in correctly. In other words, pre-positioned and accurately aligned. I am going to commence the project at this location, project registration tool. We shall refer to it as project for brevity. Okay, at this point, we need to navigate to the file menu, select import and choose G2 from the options available. Then comes the dialogue, please be patient, it takes five seconds. Well, we don't want Wi-Fi, we want to connect via USB. Then he loads the project structure at this specific location. Now at this location, you have the option to choose all of them from the available options. And then we will remove those and then we will continue with our project two as we normally do. Well, that's the plan. No, not those, only this project and then I will still be able to colorize scan points in this location and so on. We'll leave that all standard. We're not interested in that right now. And then we press import again. And that's when the import process starts here as well. If you've taken the data manager and you want to process the data with pinpoint, then you have the problem that it can't read the data from the data manager. What does problem mean? You just have to bring the data into the registration tool in order to complete the process. Nonsense, I'm already confused in Reg360 software. Then basically output an E57 or recap format from the Leica register and then read it back into pinpoint. Then of course you can usually go directly into the model to analyze the data. So for those who work with pinpoint, maybe connect it directly, then you can also save yourself the register 360 license. 
Personally, I genuinely enjoy both options. I also genuinely enjoy working with the Register Plus version. I find it exceptionally user-friendly as well. You can give it a try. If you want to test both, like for the test customers, if you're interested in both, then I really recommend downloading the data with the data manager once and downloading the data with the pinpoint registration tool once. Then you have both workflows right next to each other and can probably go through them. That's why I'm going to address this directly again because that's often the topic customers say, yeah, I've downloaded it now with that. They're not fully compatible yet. Regardless of whether that's being considered or not, the manufacturers possess superior knowledge compared to me. I would love it if you could import the data directly from the data manager. As of now, I'm not aware of any interface for that. Yeah, I'm all for feedback there too. Um, what do you guys think of that? Is there room for improvement, suggestions for improvement, etc.? All right, I'm going to take a brief break. We don't need to observe ourselves in this location while the data is being imported into the system. All right, the import is done. We've also displayed the scans here now. I'm not going to get into that here either. Well, you could obviously load them here now and then re-register. You can merge the groups. You can display a statistic. Despite all that, there are separate tutorials for that. That was the data transfer that just occurred. This is the last sentence. Eject. So please feel free to go ahead and throw out the BLK. So kindly, I request you to please just remove it from this location right here. And then you can just peel it off and you watch the diode for a sec while I pull it out. Then he also automatically powers off. Well, there is not really much to do there. Then, as demonstrated previously during the unboxing, kindly remove the battery. Do not include it with the battery because, as I previously stated, you might unintentionally press the power button. And then please ensure to pack it up properly, or you can also pack the batteries as you usually do in your suitcase for safe transportation. As I previously mentioned, the suitcase. That is a project we tackled and successfully completed together in collaboration with B&W, our trusted partner in this endeavor. Alternatively, there's the mission bag from Leica. You can order if you'd like. The suitcase is air and splash proof. That makes it even more charming. Yes, I appreciate it and I will catch you in the upcoming tutorial. Thank you and see you soon. How can one work with the data in the individual software solutions accordingly? And then, yeah, have fun with it. Bye.